Hello everybody and welcome back to my let's play of Resident Evil Zero HD Remaster. Uh, we left off just after rescuing Rebecca from this uh, hole back here. It took us quite some time to find her, but uh, now we're going to continue exploring the basement. Right. So, it's down here. We didn't really get a chance to focus much on what we were looking at when we were running about down here. Like, I had this chicken trying to find us, so let's have a look. Now, nah, we're proper look. No amount of cunning can match the speed of my supple limbs. Okay. A horse. I dance freely through the air, capturing a legless prey. And, uh, there's some sort of, uh, bowl dish. Next to each one of these, so maybe these, these have to be lit. I stand tall on the earth with horns proudly displayed. Uh, I creep up on my victims in legless silence and conquer even the mightiest of kings with my poison. Uh, I am the king of all I survey. No creature can escape my grasp. My sharp wits allow me to bring down even the greatest horned beast. Right, uh, now I think I had a uh, document that uh, made a reference to these kind of things. So we would have to work it out from them. Why am I clicking map instead of files? <laughs> um, a verse of poetry, perhaps? Moon, the sun. Uh, no, it doesn't seem like that's relevant. Um, okay, maybe I didn't have anything relating to those uh, animals. Right, um, let's double check what was through here. I think this was just the uh, way back to the uh, boiler room, wasn't it? I think it is. Yeah, it's just back to the boiler room. We're more interested in the basement at the moment, so we'll uh, head back down. Alright. So, uh... We'll head back into the room of the hole. I'm not entirely certain there's anything left to be checked in here, but we're going to check it anyways, just for the uh, purpose of being fur. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to get past there. But while we're here, we'll uh, dump these ink ribbons. Um, reload Billy's gun for him. Um, what was Rebecca Garner? Uh, yeah, I think I'm fine with the loadout that we've got. Not a great amount of spare space, but uh, we'll manage, I hope. <laughs> right now, through this more uh, industrial looking door, I remember there was quite a few interesting things back here when uh, we explored the last time. Unusual that they've got uh, flame torches lit while they've still got uh, power cables and whatnot in the area. <laughs> so uh, let's have a look in here. Your uh, items back here. Key of some sort. Lock a key. Okay. And a first aid spray. I don't think I've got room for that, have we? Oh no, apparently we do. Not that we need it right this moment, but uh, yeah. Let's get a quick look. I think it's just going to be a key, but you never know. There might be... Uh, appears to be the key to a lock. <laughs> yeah, so nothing uh, particularly fascinating there. doors. I think that's like some sort of uh, security flipping room. Let's 
else so what do we have uh, a couple of switches there's a control panel here press a button uh nothing yet thank you very much in case i do something crazy <laughs> top to rebecca grab all these ammo these guns have been taken apart parts and gunpowder lies scattered all over the place all right well, i want you to get the bullets thank you very much Right, uh, these guns are probably just w these guns are probably just waiting to be disposed of. They all look pretty beat up. Okay, uh, something in that cabinet there. Uh, can I Ooh, magnum bullets. Uh, this one looks like it's being repaired. One of the parts is missing, rendering it useless. Billy, can we swap to you? Because I know you can hold those shotgun shells if nothing else. Uh, oh, hang on. Why are those uh, handgun bullets not combined, Rebecca? <laughs> oh, that's why. Crap. <laughs> We're actually at maximum. Um, hmm. Don't want to leave those magnum bullets behind. You have the key. You've got the key. Let's see what's in here. Hopefully a new weapon. It's locked. Not for very long, it's not. Oh, it's a briefcase. Okay, and there's nothing else there. Uh -huh. Let's get a look at you. Uh, nothing too fancy, but there's a combination lock on it. Uh, I'm guessing he's just go one and what, zero to nine here. But we don't have any idea what the combination could be. Do we have any clues in our files, perhaps? Uh, looking for numbers, numbers, numbers. Uh, 815, I doubt it's going to be that, as that was the code for the uh, clock tower. Uh, uh, do, 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 do. Not seeing any numbers here. Apart from the dates, which would take all day of us trying to enter all the uh, dates. <laughs> Hopefully, it's not that. Um, uh, Nothing there, and that was just a uh, seventy. That's not a three-digit number. Uh, it's just the seating arrangement. Uh, I don't think there was any numbers in here. Just names. Uh, Maybe try 815 all on high doubtful that's gonna work. <laughs> Look for a combination lock. Looking closely you notice numbers 385 written on it really was on the box all this time. <laughs> that's a really crappy way to wear uh, store your security codes, people. <laughs> the lock is opened. Wow. <laughs> oh shiny. And gun parts. So various parts consisting of a scope and mount. Equipping these on a handgun will greatly increase the gun's firing precision. Okay. Um. Uh, combine with that. Examine. Just a handgun that's been fit with a scope for greater accuracy. These modifications should make it easier to hit a target's weak point. Okay. Just hope that it's not uh, going to make much of a difference which handgun they're put to because I don't know if there's any difference between the one that Rebecca uses and the one that Billy uses. <laughs> Alright. Um, so this is this room fully checked out as best as I can tell. Let's have a little play around with this. Uh, hopefully it's not going to do anything serious. Press the left button. Oh, bloody hell. So it's some sort of maze then, basically. Um, how do 
we actually get into that area? That's the question. Is there a... Ah, he has a way down here. Um... Let's back this way. Uh, don't think we've got uh, enough space to really do anything with this at the moment. Uh, tell you what, we're going to head back to the main hall, clear a little bit of space. And then we'll come back to that puzzle. Right, so we're back at the maze and we've uh, cleared a whole load of uh, space on our uh, characters on Billy here so that we can actually uh, pick stuff up. Right, there's all the space. Uh, so we're trapped in here for the moment, so let's swap to Rebecca. Uh, press a button, we'll try a left. bit confusing the way that was edited together there, but I think that's both of these ones open, so there's nothing we can do through there. Uh, nothing we can do through here, but uh, we're going to grab this. And then we'll swap back to Rebecca. I think it's probably going to be the center button now, what I guess. Yep, seems like it. Right. Uh, nothing else to pick up here. I'm guessing we absolutely can't go back the way we came either. Oh, we can't surprise him. What the heck? Huh. Oh, now we're going to focus on trying to use this route. So now we're going to try uh, the right button, I think. Ah. So we'll try the right button again. And this time we shall try the left button, I think. Alright, we're getting somewhere. Uh, what's this button for? What? Locking door. Um, that is not really what I wanted to do, I think. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, bloody hell. Ah! Please tell me I've got some... Oh, God, I've only got my handgun. Ah, let me get some distance. One of them dead. How would? Ah, oh, did I not give myself spare bloody uh, handgun ammo before? Ah! Bloody hell! These things are fast. Yeah, moving. This seems to be the best place to get some view of them. All right. Hopefully, there's no more of those because we've only got one news, one usable bullet left. <laughs> Alright, so what was this in here? The silly key, okay. I think all of those uh, barriers are open now by the looks things. Uh, yep, all of those barriers are open. Not the lead anyway. Alright, uh, let's come up here. Whoops. Meet with uh, Rebecca. And uh, get some handgun bullets over to where uh, Billy before he has a heart attack. <laughs> Alright, uh, combine those over his gun. And we'll put the rest of those back with Rebecca so that they're nice and safe. And we'll have a quick look at this key while we're at it. Uh, yeah, that's uh, inscribed with a water design. Now, I think there's only one water door that I'm aware of where we could possibly use that, but uh, never mind. <laughs> oh, hang on, while we're here, we need to change uh, our team settings. There we go. Ooh. 
Right. Let's uh, just have a nip through here. Check this room for any uh, leftover items I want to drag upstairs with me. <laughs> It doesn't look like we left anything there. Oops. Up here. Oh, if it's ever going at me. Thank you. And through the stall. Certainly we didn't leave anything in there apart from any ribbons, which I'm not too interested in, because we've got loads of them upstairs, quite frankly. But no clues for this puzzle room, although I didn't check the store, don't think. Six souls imprisoned within the chains of death. Rekindle the flames of life from the spirits of the weak. Alright, so I guess I know roughly what's meant to be going on here. Um... Stands tall on the earth of the horns proudly displayed. Uh, and freely through there, capturing a legless prey. So obviously the hawk is um, eating the snake. No amount of cunning can match the speed of my supple limbs. Uh, and it's imprisoned within the chain where you kindle the flames of life from the spirits of the weak. The spirits of the weak? Um uh, Strong prey upon the weak, the law of the jungle. I shan't wits allow me to bring down even the greatest horned beast. So a wolf is stronger than uh deer, I guess I stand tall on the earth with horns proudly displayed. And creep up on my victims in legless silence and conquer even the mightiest of kings of my poison. Uh, uh, I'm the king of all I survey, no creature can escape my grasp. So the tiger cougar thing is the king. Uh, Creep up on my victims and can't and even make of kings. So the snake is stronger than the uh, tiger. We're going to have to write all this down, aren't we? <laughs> right, well, we're going to leave that one for now. Made a few little uh, notes on that going forward. <laughs> See if we can find the uh, whoop camera angles. Whoop. See if we can find the uh, the water door. I think I know where it was. Thankfully, um, back in the big room where we faced the uh, was it a scorpion type of creature. Right. Whoops. Just through here. Um, now, should be through this door, I think. And I think it was in this room at the back, if I remember correctly. Right, here we are. Don't seem to need this key anymore, throw it away. <laughs> one key for one door, wow. 
You would think it would have had multiple uses, perhaps, but nope, apparently not. <laughs> These ones. Run away very quickly. <laughs> oh god, it's one. Explode on us. Right, she's on caution. We don't have any green herbs on hand, but we should be fine. Let Billy go first just in case though. So many doors to check out here. Alright, we'll go here first, the breakfast room, apparently. Um, okay. These papers look like they once contained images of something, but they have long since deteriorated beyond use. Okay. Oh, no, 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 those fellas. Why won't you die? Right, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. Oh god, Billy got caught in it. <laughs> and there's still a few leeches lying around. I don't want to wear shotgun ammo, so can you please squish those, Billy? Right, I think we're. Oh yeah. god, nope, there's still one left. These leeches are so hard to stand on. Right, there we go. Right, from the look of it from the looks of it, someone was using these machines until very recently. Uh, is this the Oh, I think this was the security camera room where Wesker and that other guy was, wasn't it? This equipment is used for broadcasting. It hasn't been used in quite a while, but I want the shiny thing. Take the vice handle, okay. Not sure where that's going to be used, but... Camera angles! <laughs> uh, not a whole lot else of use here. You got any spare shotgun ammo for that? Uh, you don't seem to. Oh, let's exchange with Billy as I think he's got the shotgun ammo. Really, we should probably do this, shouldn't we? Uh, put that there. Let's reload the shotgun and uh, swap the Billy and reload his handgun. <laughs> this tool will allow you to operate the vice, okay? Once we find the vice, that is. <laughs> Hopefully no more enemies down here. My handle's getting a little bit uh, awkward at the moment. <laughs> right, and to this one. Uh, oh, it's just a little bar. I guess this was the breakfast room, even though it seemed to be uh, labelled for the other door. Cabinet is stocked with small bottles. There doesn't seem to be anything special about it. Okay. Uh, not seeing anything useful here. Just a wine bottle. <laughs> uh, take that empty bottle. Maybe make some more Molotovs out of that at some point. But uh, I'm looking everywhere and I'm not really seeing anything of use. Yeah, the piano is covered with dust, but it looks playable. Play the piano. Yes. I had a feeling that was uh, going to do something, although I thought we were going to need a specific uh, set of notes to play to get that to work. <laughs> oh well. Uh, more magnum ammo, by the looks of things. Let me pick it up. Thank you. Uh, what have we got here? Uh, cannot carry this out now, okay. Some sort of car battery. Get that off a bottle while we're here, might as well. Pop to Rebecca, see if she can get the battery. 
Astro battery, I think it says. <laughs> right. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, we'll leave that there for now. Clearly, we're going to have to use uh, one of us and get one of us trapped in here to take that away and do something with it. Come on, let me put it back. Thank you. Right. Uh, oh, wait for the animation. Blah. <laughs> right, so back to Billy. Whoops, bloody camera angles. Right. Uh, I'll head out here and check the last door in this little area. Luxaurus. <laughs> uh, right, so we've got that there. Can we check that sign on the door? Doesn't look like it. Uh, what have we got down this way? Another door. Uh, we'll go with the one that was closest to us, I suppose. Still hear someone in here. Oh, there he is. Probably not wear shotgun ammo, Rebecca, but I suppose thank you, anyways. <laughs> right, just want to Rebecca because she's got this shotgun ammo. Ah, a vice. Now what on earth is the vice going to be used for? It's gripping a tablet. The, ta the handle is missing, rendering the vice unusable. Now was it me that had it? Yes it was. Ah, I recognise that shape from uh, somewhere. I can't remember where the room was that had that, but yes. Obedience. And there's uh, nothing else in here, at least not that I can see. Alright, out we go then. Uh, now we'll check the other one at the sand. a lot of stuff in here it seems uh, there's an assortment of laboratory equipment there doesn't seem to be anything of interest uh, okay. uh, what sort of space have we got at the moment not a lot uh, so we leave the first aid spray I guess uh, I think you have the handgun bolts at the moment, don't you, Billy? So you can grab those for me. Uh, and I think you've also got the bottles, so you might as well grab those too. Uh, um, the floor is littered with bone fragments. You wonder if they're human bones. Okay, uh, I'm sure I saw some herbs in here. Rebecca, can you please move? Yeah, there they are. Right, uh... Red, we're going to just use that straight away. Swap to Rebecca and grab the red one, which we can't see to aim at it. But I know there's one there, there it is. Right. Check our inventories one last time. Pretty full. Uh, and there was nothing back here, was there? Nope. Right. Well, with that, I think we're going to have to call an episode. So we'll see you guys next time.